Welcome to Tea and Mystics. Today I will be sharing a short review of Dialogues with Silence, a collection of drawings and prayers by Thomas Merton, while I'm sipping on some candy cane decaffeinated green tea from Trader Joe's. I've had the book Dialogue with Silence for many years now, and I am a big fan of Thomas Merton, the Trappist monk and writer who first came to prominence after writing his spiritual autobiography, The Seven Story Mountain. He also went on to write many books, many articles that deal with Christian contemplative living and many consider him to have been a Christian mystic, myself included. This book is a collection of illustrations that Thomas Merton had done that are now housed in an archive and each illustration is accompanied by a prayer that Thomas Merton had wrote um, had written and these are a collection of some that had been previously published and some that had not been published before so a lot of these are very um, private prayers that he wrote and had kept for himself uh, this is just a little look at as you can see you'll have an illustration on one side and then a prayer on the other side and this book really does offer a bit of an intimate glimpse, glimpse into Thomas Merton's own contemplative life by sharing these beautiful prayers and also this look into his own sketchbook. While looking through the book and just even paying attention to the illustrations you can really see when Thomas Merton's interest in Zen becomes present and you can even see it within the style of some of the illustrations that he does. I think that if you have any interest in Thomas Merton or Christian contemplation or Christian mystics or mystics in general, you definitely would like to seek this book out because again, it's just the prayers and the illustrations that invite you into a contemplative practice by reading and looking at the illustrations. Today I'm sipping on some candy cane decaffeinated green tea from Trader Joe's and I really enjoy this candy cane tea. It lets me keep having some of those Christmas-like flavors during the winter season and I find it's a really perfect blend of the candy cane taste. It's not overpowering, it's just really nice and it's a decaffeinated green tea so it's really good to have later in the afternoon or in the evening when you don't have to worry about um, the caffeine keeping you up or anything. Thanks so much for spending time with tea and mystics. Cheers!